Here we have some word problems that are all about the passage of time, how much time is going by, whether that's years or hours or some other units. Let's take a look at these. The first one says, how many years were there from 1224 to 1790? And what we're going to do here is we're just going to subtract 1790 minus 12, whoops, 1224. And that should give us the right answer of how many years were in between. If you doubt that, um, you could think about this. 1224, one year later it would be 1225. I know one year has passed between 1224 and 1225. So if this question said, how many years were there from 1224 to 1225, I would simply subtract, like I'm doing over here, and I would come up with the answer of 1, which, I, which makes sense, which I know to be true. So I'm going to use the same principle over here. 1790 minus 1224. So let's do that. 10 minus 4 is 6. 8 minus 2 is 6. 7 minus 2 is 5. 1 minus 1 is 0. So it's 566 years between 1224 and 1790. So that's how to handle years. Let's look at this one with hours. It says Angie left home at 1010 a.m. to go to tennis practice. She got back from practice at 1140 a.m. How long had she been gone? The way I like to do these, because you can get mixed up with minutes um, and hours because they're different units, what I like to do is just count ahead an hour at a time. So I would first go from 10-10 in my head to 11-10. And I know that's one hour that's passed. Now I can't go ahead another hour because I'm going to end up at 11.40. The question is how many minutes are there between 11.10 and 11.40. And to get that, I could just subtract. 40 minus 10 would equal 30. I could also just think about it on the clock. Here's 11.40, here's 11.10. Um, 6, 5, 4, 3. It's 30 minutes on a clock. So if you can visualize the face of a clock, it might be easier than just subtracting. I don't know, might, be, might not be. But the answer to this one is going to be 1 hour and 30 minutes. Let's try one more of those. This next one says, Shauna left home at 9.15 to go to swimming practice. She got back from practice at 12.45 p.m. How long had she been gone? So I'm going to start my trick of just counting ahead by an hour. So if I start at 9.15, I go to 10.15. That's one hour. Then I can go to 11.15. That's two hours. And then I go to 12.15. I'm still not up to 12.45. That's three hours so far. And now I have to go to 12.45. There I can just subtract the minutes. 45 minus 15 would be 30. Or if I'm visualizing it on a clock, it's 12.15 there. I have to go around to 12.45. That's half an hour. So one, two, three hours and 30 minutes is the answer for that one. So those are some problems about elapsed time.